Ooh, that's very close. My bad. So I'm really excited right now because if you guys don't know, In the Heights, the live action movie musical starring Anthony Ramos is coming out on, I think, June 18th. But today is June 2nd and Warner Bros. invited me to an advanced pre-screening of it. I... I'm not really sure why they invited me. I mean, I just randomly got an email from Warner Bros. Pictures and it was like, you're invited to a pre-screening. Claim your tickets now. I got two free tickets and it's gonna be at this AMC in like North Hollywood or somewhere. I'm bringing my friend Summer with me and I'm really excited because I saw a little bit of it. I already saw a screening, but it was on the computer. And I think this is a movie that you kind of need to see on the big screen. I know it's gonna be super inspiring. Like me and Summer have been talking about this movie for a minute. It was created by Lin-Manuel Miranda, who is also the creator of Hamilton, writer, star of Hamilton, all that. So I have been waiting for this movie to come out for a minute and I'm gonna bring y'all with me. I probably can't record anything of the movie, but like the experience and just this whole day, I want y'all to come with me. Um, right now, Elise is driving, but I'm on my way to a coffee shop to get some work done. I just feel like it's gonna be good to get out of the house and like do work outside because I'm still in the process of getting my room together and but today is such an exciting day because I'm going to see in the heights with summer so a little bit later I'll be getting ready for that and taking out an outfit well we're like one minute away from this coffee shop we're gonna see how this goes we may not if it's not cute cute and not inspiring to work there we're gonna have to leave because it defeats the purpose of getting out of the house oh guys look it's Warner Bros Warner Bros. I mean, they shot Friends there. They shoot All American there. I have a couple of things to do today. I'm gonna be sending out a lot of emails, editing a YouTube video that I've already filmed that may or may not go up for this video. It's not a, if you don't have a vision board, I think this is more than enough. So basically I decided I'm going to look cute casual but like still on the cuter side because you just never know who you might see at these screenings at the movies whatever I'm still not sure how I got invited I think it's because I did HBCU in LA which is a program for like film and TV students from HBCUs and I was a broadcast journalism and film major so I think that's probably how they got my email so keep that in mind when you want to go when you're figuring out your major you might get some cool opportunities opportunities if you're a film TV major. I've been looking forward to this for a very long time and now it's finally here and I feel like I need to go to this. It's something that I just feel like I need some inspiration right now. Going to see In the Heights today is going to be that inspiration I need. We're stuck where we are with no house. Ahoy there. I am really hungry. And the worst thing to do when you're going to the movies is to go hungry because you're gonna fill up on popcorn, which is what I used to do all the time when I used to go to the movies. And you know how some people say movie dates are basic? I don't think so, because I love the movies. Like, I'm a movie person. This would be my favorite go-to date. I mean, I guess it's not a good first date because you don't get a lot of time to talk. It's not a bad date to go on because I love the movies. How many times have I said that in this vlog? I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. I haven't been to the movies in, like I said, two years, so I hope I don't feel paranoid in there or like claustrophobic, but I don't think I will because I mean, I've gone out. There we go, a little blush on the nose, a blush on the eye. Also, as an actor, of course, it's gonna be really inspiring to see people of color killing it on screen. It's like my favorite thing to see. Well, last step, I think I just need some highlighter. So, this is the full Makeup, and I'm about to show you my fit. With today, y'all, I don't really know. 
I really like this pink denim jacket. I may change the shirt to like a white shirt. Yeah. And pick up summer, and then we're going. Summer is here. This is a nice camera. I know it's a lease. <laughs> <laughs> Very oh, yeah, seriously. We got our snacks. Hold we on. got our snacks. Hold, Hold our snacks of summer. Woo! We'll probably do this in the theater Movie too. Movie theater snacks. Who? But we are literally so excited. I don't know if you guys can tell. But the fact that this is gonna be the first movie in theaters that I see, nice. it's just bomb. Mm. Hopefully they give us free snacks, but if not, we came prepared, obviously, with nope. this. Hopefully they give us free snacks, but if not, we came prepared, obviously, with of the course. snacks. Um, I have to have popcorn and a drink when I watch a movie, so. I mean, butter's okay, but I need like a sprinkle. We about to pull up in a second, guys, so. See you shortly. <laughs> Are here at AMC. Look, yeah. look, look, look. How cute! So cute, and we're about to get food right now. This is bomb, isn't it, Summer? Let's, yes. Let's, let's look at all these options. If we got Cold Stone, Chipotle, like, right where do you, where do you want to go? We should, we could get tender green on us. Um, so nice. I so love this. Nice. Dubs next to the movie theater. I mean, is is this like my home or something? There, Chipotle, cold like, Chipotle, Cold Stone, Buffalo Wild thing. Wings, and AMC. That's all I need in life. Um, so guys, I ran out of space on my camera, of course, but we are waiting for our Buffalo Wild Wings. We're getting food for the B Dubs and flats are drunk. Flats always. How about you? Oh, flats. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. We both asked for all flats. I mean, I used to love drums too. I used to be like, Mom, I want the drumsticks I only. And now it's like, uh uh, something. Changed about, woman now. Yeah, hey. I don't need it for a drumstick for, huh? <laughs> uh, guys, look how pretty downtown Burbank is. We've just been like in awe. Let's 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 take a look. Be good. Like, <laughs> wait, please do it again. It's that dance. <laughs> yeah, this is the mood going to the movies. <laughs> you did great. That movie was 10 out of 10. What do you think? Well, we'll talk about it later, but um, yeah. We're here. Yes, Hallie, yes, pretty women. Yes. Gone with the wind and things. Kyle Johansson looks bomb. Florence Pugh. Florence Pugh looks bomb too. Okay, sis. That's really cool. She is in her bag. That's that's honestly we're claiming that now. Let's that's, claim it. We're claiming it claim in this it. video that that's how we're trying to be on Emma Stone. I'm trying to be on my Emma Stone because why? Wow. Okay, so as you can see, I'm back from the theater, and I just have to say. I was so emotional watching that movie. It brought me so much joy, so much happiness. I was so inspired, honestly, just by everything. The music, the singing, the acting, the cinematography. Me and Summer were like trying so hard not to sing. We definitely did start singing a little bit. There were just, mo there were moments that happened at the theater that I forgot about. Like we, we were laughing at parts. And you forget about that when you're at home streaming things. Like that's an experience that I completely forgot about. And I missed it. I'm, I just want to see so many more movies. Um, I'm tired. That movie is like two hours long. But 10 out of 10 would recommend. Go see In the Heights.